Good day Grade 11s. Welcome to your next lesson on trigonometry. In our last lesson we learned about trig identities and in this lesson we're going to be learning about the reduction formula of 180 plus or minus theta. Now it looks like a scary um, thing to learn about but actually it's not that difficult and we're going to go through it in baby steps. So let's look at the circle and in the circle you will see that we have got We've got the angle theta and it makes a point P on a circle and this is your cast diagram. So this is your first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant, right? Now, if for example, I had to say to you that this side here was four units long and that side there was three units long. Okay, in other words, our point P would be made up of X is four and then Y is three. Then our length OP could be got using Pythagoras because this is a right angle triangle because that is the Y axis there or it's parallel to the Y axis. So then this point here, the OP, would equal the square root of four squared plus 3 squared, which is the square root of 4 squared is 16, plus 9, which is 5. So the length of OP is 5. So now if we apply Sarkatoa to this, we can get the sine, cos and theta ratios for this triangle here, this red triangle here. So I'm just going to put that over there. Okay, so we're going to go sine of theta, sine of theta is equal to opposite of our partners, which is going to be 3 over 5. Cos of theta is equal to be adjacent of our partners, which is 4 over 5. And tan of theta, tan of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is 3 over 4. Now if we take P across the x-axis and we put it so it mirrors the x-axis, in other words it's just over here on its circle, so obviously that has the same length because it has a radius of 5 and because this is mirroring it, this is going to have a y value of 3 but this has a value of negative 4. Okay, negative 4. So if we had to look just in this triangle, in the green triangle, do you see that sine of theta is still opposite of our part nu, so it's going to be still be 3 over 5. Cos of theta is going to be adjacent of our part nu, which is a minus 4 over 5. And tan of theta is equal to tan of theta is opposite over adjacent, which is minus 3 over 4. But if you look carefully, you can see that this is actually the same as saying sine of 180 minus theta because these two, that there, is a complement. This 180 is going all the way across to that. So therefore, this is the same as saying sine of 180 minus theta. This is the same as saying cos of 180 minus theta and this is the same as saying tan of 180 minus theta. So the reduction formula, this is the rule for the reduction formula when it comes for sine, cos and tan when it, we're talking about 180 minus theta is this, that sine of 180 minus theta is going to equal sine theta cos of 180 minus theta is equal to negative minus 4 over 5 so it's negative cos of theta and tan of 180 minus theta is equal to negative tan theta because look here there's minus 3 over 4 and that's 3 over 4 which kind of makes sense if you think about it because remember what we said about this diagram this was the cast diagram and this says that everything is positive here all but the only thing that is positive here is the sign because it's all stations to 
which is for tan, and then Cape Town, which is for cos. So do you see that when we're working with 180 minus theta, do you see that we're actually looking at the second quadrant and the only thing that's positive in the second quadrant is your sine. And because these two are symmetrical, they have the same ratio. Now let's look at 180 plus theta. So again, we're going to be using this little triangle here, and I'm going to use the same numbers as last time, just so that you can see what we're doing. So this is going to be 4, this is 3, and this is 5, right? Now, if we then write these down, and we'll do Sokotoa again so you can remember what I'm doing and understand what I'm doing. So if I do Sokotoa for the dark blue triangle, the one in the first quadrant, I get sine theta is opposite of our hypotenuse, which is 3 over 5. Cos theta is adjacent of our hypotenuse, which is 4 over 5. And tan theta is equal to tan theta is opposite over adjacent, which is 3 over 4. Now let's look at the new triangle that we formed by adding 180 degrees. So let's look at the purple triangle. So now we formed a triangle down here in the third quadrant. Okay, and you can see that this, if this is the whole of this is 180 plus theta, the whole of this is 180 plus theta from there, then if this whole thing is 180 degrees, this tiny little angle has to be theta. And now this is going to be minus 4 because we're going across the negative part of the x-axis. This length here is minus 3, but this is still the radius of my circles, that's still 5. So now if we do sine, and we do this in the purple triangle, we've got sine theta is opposite of our hypotenuse is minus 3 over 5. Cos theta is opposite over adjacent, I mean adjacent of our hypotenuse, which is minus 4 over 5. But tan theta is going to be opposite over adjacent, which is minus 3 over 4, which equals 3 quarters. Right. So, but do you agree that that thing there, that sine of theta is actually the same as saying for the purple one, is same as saying, let me just change color here so you can really get to grips with what I'm saying. This is the same as going 180 plus theta. To get to that point there, it's the same as saying sine of 180 plus theta. So the purple sine theta is the same as saying sine of 180 plus theta. This is the same as saying cos of 180 plus theta to get to that point of the angle. And this is the same as saying tan of 180 plus theta. So if we look at this, we can see that our reduction formula is coming out to the following. And let's just choose another color. So we're saying that sine of theta is going to be minus sine of 180 plus theta, or the other way around, okay? Or a better way to put it is sine of 180 plus theta is going to be negative sine theta. Cos of 180 plus theta is equal to negative cos theta. Do you see that that's minus 4 over 5, where there is just positive 4 over 5? And tan, tan, tan of 180 plus theta is going to be negative tan, sorry, it stays positive tan theta. And again, see, 3 over 4 over there, and then 3 over 4 over there. So again, this makes sense because of our cast diagram. Our cast diagram says everything is positive here, only the sign is positive here, and only the tan is positive there. And there's, of course, cos. So what have we learned? We've learned that with 180 minus, plus, minus theta and 180 plus theta, the ratio stay the same. The size of the ratio, 3 over 5, 4 over 5, 3 over 4 stay the same. same. But in the 180 plus quadrant, which is your third quadrant, only your tan remains exactly the same, and your sine and cos change signs. Now let's look at theta minus 180 degrees. Theta minus 180 degrees. So again, what we're going to do 
ask is, do you see that that, a theta minus 180 degrees, actually takes you back into the third quadrant? So therefore, it is going to be exactly the same as my previous one of 180 plus theta. It takes me back into the third quadrant. Therefore, we can say we know, we know that this is going to be that the sine of theta minus 180 degrees is going to be minus sine theta and we know this why why because this is all stations to Cape Town so we know the only thing that's positive in this third quadrant is going to be what it's going to be the tan cos of theta minus 180 degrees is equal to negative cos theta and tan of theta minus 180 degrees is still going to be tan theta. So the only tricky thing is to realize that when we've got theta minus 180 degrees, it means we're going clockwise around. So now we can work out clockwise, where if it's 180 minus theta, we're going that way around. So you need to make sure that you go in the right way so you can end up in the right quadrant. So just to confirm, quadrant, your cast diagram, this is why it's useful other than what we've done already. Quadrant one, everything is positive. Quadrant two, only the sine is positive. Quadrant three, only tan is positive. And quadrant four, only the cos. So this would be everything for 180 minus theta. Remember, this is going to be your 180 plus theta quadrant and we will talk about the other quadrants or this quadrant over here and that one over there in the next lesson and that grade 11 is the reduction formula with respect to 180 plus minus theta have a lovely day